Out of all the champions in NBA history, 87% have been the number 1 or the number 2 seed in their conference. 66 out of the 76 winners were top 2. This blew my mind and as crazy as it sounds, the NBA champions are often the clear and obvious choice with very few surprises. So the fact that nobody is afraid of the top two teams in the West, which are the Denver Nuggets and especially the Sacramento Kings, and instead teams in the 5th or 6th seed or even in the play-in right now see their chance at a championship run, makes this season and the coming playoffs one of the wildest rides in NBA history. And we've seen some insane things like this happen before, let me show you. We all remember Dirk's heroic title run with the Mavs in 2011. Well, that Dallas roster was one of only 8 teams that won it all as a 3rd seed. And you know a few of the others. In fact, Golden State did it just last season. Giannis with Milwaukee is also in this group. And another one that you may remember is that Detroit Pistons team with Billups, Hamilton, Prince and the Wallace duo. There are only 2 other champions that won as a lower seed. The Celtics in 1969 who were number 4 and the lowest seed to ever win it, the 1995 Houston Rockets who went back to back as a 6th seed. This is especially difficult to do. First, they would have to go against great teams like Stockton and Malone's Utah Jazz, then Charles Barkley, Kevin Johnson and the Phoenix Suns, as well as Pop Spurs led by David Robinson, and in the finals against Shaq and Penny Hardaway. Not only that, but they didn't have home court advantage in any of those series, since of course they were the lower seed in every round of the playoffs. This is almost impossible to accomplish. The New York Knicks came incredibly close to it in 1999 when as the 8th seed they made a sensational playoff run, upsetting the number 1 team in the East, the Miami Heat, and went all the way to the finals. And based on everything that we've seen so far in the West, I feel like this year has the potential to bring us surprises similar to the 95 and the 99 season. Let me explain why. But first, quick time out to give a shout out to SoRare NBA for sponsoring this video. SoRare is a sports fantasy game and a marketplace featuring officially licensed digital player cards from the NBA. And I'm excited to announce the Heat Check Private League, where you can compete against me and others in my community for prizes like NBA Store gift cards. The competition is great out here and your boy is currently firmly at the number 5 position, but I'm looking at Anthony Davis as a player that could help me place top 3 in my next game week lineup since he's been killing it ever since LeBron got injured. They give you 20 common cards at sign up and you start assembling your team and competing to win higher rated cards and other rewards. Every card has a score on it which is the last 10 game average for that player. And to prevent creating super teams, every league has a point cap, usually it's 120 points. The MVP of your team which is the player with the highest score doesn't count towards your cap, so you get a break there. And here's how you get points, it's based on the player's real stats from the actual games. A steal is worth 3 points and a turnover is minus 2, you get the idea. And if you wanna boost that score you can get some of the limited, rare, super rare and unique cards off of the marketplace. As you can see, they provide a nice boost to your points and unlock higher levels of competition. So click the link in the description and join me and my community and compete against us. Thanks so rare for sponsoring this video. We already know that the East runs through Milwaukee and Boston. Philly is lurking behind but we have two legitimate favorites there, but the West, it's chaos. Literally nobody is trusting the clear number 1 seed the Nuggets. The Lakers are not even a lock to make the play in, let alone the playoffs and people are still picking them over Denver if they made it. This sounds ridiculous as I'm even saying it. But on the other hand, do you think a hypothetically healthy LeBron and AD with this new Lakers roster fear Jokic and Denver? Honestly, I don't think so. Then, Kyrie and Luka as a potential 7th seed going against the young and inexperienced Sacramento roster appearing in the playoffs for the first time in 16 years. Who you got in that matchup? Then you got the most dangerous 6th seed ever probably in the Golden State Warriors. Do you know that Klay Thompson is officially back? Yeah, he had that awful start and we all said that he was done. 
Well, ever since the 25th of December, for the last two and a half months basically, Thompson is averaging 25 and a half points per game on 46% from the field and 43 and a half percent from downtown. That's lights out. And if he's just now gearing up, then how hot can he get in the playoffs? So are you betting against the reigning champions with the Splash Brothers in full rhythm? Didn't think so. Oh, and by the way, currently sitting at number 4, we got a super team with 3 of the best mid-range scorers in NBA history. With KD, Booker and CP3, the Suns are definitely not fearing any team in the West. But this brings us to yet another variable, and that is player availability. Starting off with Memphis, we don't know if and when John Morant will return and how this whole situation will impact him. This is taking away the main guy from the number 3 seed. KD all of a sudden could miss the rest of the regular season with his ankle injury and who knows if Kawhi Leonard will stay healthy enough. He always misses games. These are all additional factors that could impact the title race and bring even more unexpected results. With about 15 games remaining, not a single one of us has a basic idea of who will win the West. And that's the perfect scenario for the 6, 7 or even an 8 seeded team to get hot at the right time, make a run and do the unthinkable. Let me know in the comments who's your pick. Is it this guy? Get this t-shirt in the link in the description and talk to you the next one. Peace out.